Argos, a fine fragrance company, was founded by creator Christian Petrovich in 2014. Argos fragrances are designed to stimulate and attract by arousing the most powerful of our senses. Argos offers as well as fragrance-related products, candles, electric diffusers, natural oils, travel atomizers, and jewelry as well. Argos fragrances are made in USA at a premier distillery that has ultra-modern equipment, and they are bottled and distributed from the creator's hometown of Dallas, Texas, USA. An interesting fact about Christian Petrovich is that he is an American-born model, actor, and successful real estate developer as well. Now, why mentioning this fact is because before he took this company public, he used to create fragrances only for the actors and models within his network only to make sure that his fragrances are not commercialized and not owned by everyone so they're one of a kind and unique. After several years working and creating the highest quality fragrances for the others, Mr. Petrovich decided to launch Argos Fragrances publicly in 2018. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to review Triumph of Bacchus, which is represented by the Roman god Bacchus. Bacchus was considered the god of winemaking, fertility, ritual madness, theater, and religious ecstasy. He was one of the 12 Olympians, although he was the last one to arrive. Often called Eleutherius, meaning the liberator, because his wine, music, and ecstatic dance freed mortals from self-consciousness and the restraints of society. Bacchus crossed the boundary between life and death, between the known and unknown, keeping a mysterious and exotic aura to himself, just like the fragrance we're going to review today. Now this fragrance definitely represents the story behind its name. Wildly romantic and exotic fragrant notes which dance beautifully together in a harmony. An extremely mass appealing fragrance that would satisfy everyone's senses. A head turner and a lady pleaser. All right, so let's get to the courts of Triumph of Bacchus and see what we get. This is, as I mentioned earlier, it's a very mass appealing type of a fragrance. Uh, it's a, a lady pleaser. It's one of those fragrances that it's very easy to wear. Triumph of Bacchus opens up with this smooth, luxurious, fresh mouth watering, sweet, green, sour, fleshy, nectarous, fruity cord, which it comes from green apple and white peach, followed immediately with this complex, sweet and aromatic cord it brings on succulents and molasses tinged nuances, which comes from rum. I also get this bittersweet, leathery, spicy, soft, and intimate with an earthy note on the opening as well, which must be coming from saffron. In the heart of the fragrance, I get this beautiful Tonka Absolute, which is 90% Camarine, and it definitely creates that sweet tobacco almond vibe to this fragrance, which complements the tobacco note in the base really nicely. You also get this sweet dark with an earthy woody edge in the heart of the scent, which is from high quality patchouli oil, followed with this earthy woody green accord, which is from Vetibe. It is definitely warm, spicy, it's kind of woody, it's definitely fruity, it's definitely a sweet type of a scent, it has vanilla in it. Uh, this one is definitely for tobacco lovers. It has a beautiful, gorgeous amber cord in here. Uh, you definitely get rum, which adds to the gourmandness of the fragrance. Uh, it's definitely boozy, it's uh, powdery as well, and you also get a good dose of patchouli in here, which I mentioned earlier. As it dries down, the musk and the sandalwood starts shining through the scent and carries the longevity of this fragrance along with tobacco, tonka bean, vanilla, patchouli, saffron, and vetive, and the sandalwood definitely adds to the powdery and milkiness of the fragrance in the dry down. All right, so let's get to the notes of Triumph of Bacchus. Top notes, you have that beautiful green apple I was talking about which fades away really quickly. You get about 10 to 15 minutes on your skin. So if you want that to last longer, I would definitely suggest you to spray it on your clothes. You have white peach, you got rum and saffron in your top notes. Middle notes, you have tonka bean, patchouli, vetive, and jasmine, which I don't really get any jasmine, or at least I don't smell it in here. So it's not a floral type of a scent. 
uh, base notes, you get this uh, big dose of tobacco, uh, you get vanilla, you get that beautiful amber cord, you got sandalwood, which uh, makes the fragrance very uh, milky and powdery on the dry down, and you get that beautiful musk that carries the longevity of Triumph of Buckus. Let's talk about the big elephant in the room. So a lot of people say that this fragrance smells like the red tobacco by Mancera and Carlite by Parfum de Marly. I have both of those fragrances and I don't want to spend too much time to compare those two with this one, but I definitely agree with the fact that they have element factors in common for sure. So uh, Triumph of Buckus is definitely very close to Red Tobacco by Mancera, but I have to say that this one feels a lot more smoother and better blended. I must say the opening is not as harsh and abrasive as Red Tobacco. So this would be perfect for people that tried Red Tobacco and don't like the first 20 minutes of opening and want something that is blended smoother and is not as abrasive. Comparing this to Carlisle, I would say this one is more playful than Carlisle. Carlisle is more mature, less sweet, more serious than this one. I have to say Carlisle, the patchouli is more prominent than Triumph of Buckus. And also it is more woody than Triumph of Buckus as well. So this is as much as the comparison I will get into as far as comparing these two to the other two fragrances. All right, so let's get to the performance and longevity. As far as longevity goes, I get eight to nine hours on my skin, which is really good. And it's a great performer, it's a head turner. So as far as performance and longevity goes, I would definitely give it a high score. Now, as far as the projection sillage goes, it has a moderate to strong sillage depending on your skin and weather. On initial spray, it projects about five to six feet, and after two hours, it gets closer to your bubble. So as far as the projection sillage goes, I would definitely give it a high score as well. As far as the compliments goes, this guy over here gets a lot of compliments. This guy is a compliment monster. Uh, it's one of those fragrances that has that mass appealing type of a DNA to it. Uh, it's a lady pleaser, and actually it's one of those fragrances that a lot of ladies would love to wear it themselves. So as far as the compliments goes, I would definitely give it a high score. Now, as far as the versatility goes, again, it's a tobacco type of a scent. Uh, it's definitely boozy but uh, the peach and the apple, uh, the fruity nuances uh, kind of make this fragrance uh, to be very versatile. Uh, you can wear this during the day and you can wear this at nighttime. Uh, it does have that luxurious vibe to it, uh, but you can definitely wear this dressed down or dressed up. It can be your signature scent. And I think, again, it's a very subjective topic, but I believe that you can wear this uh, all year round actually in summer as well because of the fruity notes. As far as the versatility goes, I would definitely give it a high score as well. As far as uniqueness goes, unfortunately, Triumph of Buckus is not a unique fragrance because of Red Tobacco by Mancera and Carlyle by Parfum de Marly. Uh, but again, they're not copycat of each other, but they're very close to each other. They definitely have very similar elements that they uh, borrowed from each other. Uh, now, uh, because of that, it would definitely get a low score as far as the uniqueness goes. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we get to end my video. That's all I have for Triumph of Buckus. If you don't own those two fragrances that I mentioned, I would definitely suggest you to get this one because this one to me is definitely more playful and it's more, um, I would say, more mass appealing and easier on the nose. Uh, so, uh, and people that are into mass appealing type of fragrances, that's something that's very easy to wear and also easy to please. Uh, this definitely would be your fragrance, specifically if you're looking for a tobacco type of a scent. And that's it, you guys. That's all I have. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.